is a 20 minute class ish about getting better at headstands. Now, in order to run, one must fir first learn to walk. In order to walk, one must first learn to crawl. Oftentimes, when it comes to inversions, we don't take the, the proper steps to learn how to get our feet over our head without falling. So whether you have a very, 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 very good headstand, or you're newer to the practice, this is going to give you some tools to work on building those proper steps to get you towards being very good. Um, if you don't hold a headstand in the middle of the room by yourself, this is a great place to be. If you want to do these things against the wall as a spot, that's awesome. We're going to use each other as spotters, which is the same thing we can do with the wall. If you have a friend, grab him over and let's do it. Now, first things first. Let's just get into some things you can do to build some strength in the shoulders. So let's come into a downward dog, but on our forearms. And if the forearms aren't what you want to do, you can interlace the fingers. Whether the feet are farther away, it might be actually kind of tough. So walk the feet in so the shoulders go over the elbows. Let the head hang. Now, walking the feet a bit closer, see how right here, Astrid's shoulders are just behind her uh, elbows? So take it forward a bit, take it forward a bit. Walk the feet forward too. Keep walking the feet forward as much as you can so almost the hips start to stack over the shoulders. 